Hello Earth citizens! In this video, I will show you a 10 minute routine for tinnitus. Tinnitus is ringing in your ears. So first of all, before I show you the exercises, I want to briefly explain why someone experiences tinnitus from an energy perspective. So yeah, keep that in mind. This is based on energy principles. This is not to replace the consultation or advice of a doctor. If you have literal physical problems with your ears, it's a whole different story. What I'm sharing with you is just a general energy principle that explains why you have ringing in your ears if there's nothing physically wrong with you. Okay, so the optimal energy flow in our body is called water up, fire down. We made a video on our channel that explains more in detail about Water Up Fire Down, so I'll link that video in the description below so you can watch more in detail about Water Up Fire Down. But in a nutshell, Water Up Fire Down is the condition where my head is cool and my abdomen is warm. Most people in our modern society, the head is hot from so much stress and thinking, so many things to consider and, and fix and problems and people to deal with that our head gets hot like an overheated computer while our abdomen from our sedentary lifestyle, diet, stress, our abdomens are cold, which is why people have a lot of digestive issues these days. When your head is hot like an overheating computer, in order to protect your head and brain from getting damaged, your body has a natural mechanism to release heat from your body if your head is overheated. The heat that's trapped in your head gets released through the openings of your face. So like your eyes, your nose, your mouth, your ears. So when you experience heat coming out of your eyes, a symptom you have is dry eyes. When you experience heat, overheating coming out through your nose, it's dry nose. So nose bleeds, dry nose. When you have too much heat and it's coming out through your mouth, you experience dry mouth and bad breath halitosis from that as well. And then finally, when you experience heat coming out through your ears, you experience tinnitus, ringing in your ears. So ringing in your ears is caused by overheating of your brain. And most of the times when, when it's so overheated for a long period of time, the abnormal starts to feel normal. So you don't even feel like there's much heat in your head. But just know that tinnitus is caused by too much heat in your head coming out through your ears. So let's check how much heat is inside of your body. Place your left hand on your forehead, your right hand on your bare skin, lower abdomen. So underneath your belly button and see which one is hotter. The hand that's touching your forehead or the hand that's touching your abdomen. If the hand that's touching your forehead is hotter, that means there's more heat in your head. If this is warmer, that means good, you're more relaxed and there's more heat in your abdomen. So we will do these exercises to release the heat that's causing your tinnitus. First, sit with your spine straight in a comfortable seated posture and roll your hands into a fist. We're gonna do some brainwave vibration to bring the energy down, hot energy down, mixed with some breathing techniques to release the steam from your head. So roll your hands into a fist. With the pinky side, tap your lower abdomen. So two inches below your navel, tap. This tapping brings energy, hot energy, down to your core where it should be. So tap here. Let's tap here for one minute. Close your eyes, focus on your body a little bit better with your eyes closed. Feel your lower abdomen. As you focus your mind there, heat will naturally start to come down from your head into your lower belly. In that process, you might feel tension and pain coming to the surface in your neck and shoulders. If you feel tension and pain coming up in your neck and shoulders, gently shake your head side to side, helping your body release that pain. But keep focusing on tapping your lower belly, bringing the heat down to your lower belly. If you're very sensitive to energy, you can feel 
the gradual accumulation of energy coming down into your belly. You'll feel calmer in your mind, quieter in your mind. 30 more seconds. Keep doing brainwave vibration. We're gonna add one more element, which is the breath. As you tap your lower belly and shake your head side to side. Now breathe in through your nose and imagine you are breathing, pulling your breath through your nose into your brain and then exhale out through your mouth like you're pushing out hot energy through your, through your mouth. So open your eyes and watch me. So breathe in, bring the oxygen to your brain and then push out heat from your mouth. So you're guiding the heat to come out a different way than your ears, okay? So let's repeat that breathing pattern. Breathe in through your nose, send cool oxygen to the back of your brain, exhale out through your mouth, like you're pushing hot energy from your head out through your body, through your mouth. repeating this breathing pattern for one minute. Feel and visualize hot energy from your head coming out through your mouth, rerouting the heat from your ears to your mouth. sensitive to energy you can feel air coming in cooling your head breathing out pushing out hot energy out and your brain gets cooler in the process keep focusing keep repeating you have 15 more seconds Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, now open your eyes. Keep tapping your lower abdomen. This is your foundation. Keep tapping your lower abdomen. And then now this time, we're going to stretch and exercise this jaw joint right here. So keep tapping, let me show you. So this jaw joint needs to open so that energy can flow in through your ears flow in through your jaw. When you have a lot of tension here and you clamp your jaw like this, it creates blockage in your ears from energy flowing properly. So we're going to open the jaw joint here. So watch me. As you open, open your eyes and jaw really wide. Stretch it open. And close. Stretch, eyes to eyes and jaw. Like you're stretching your whole face, like this. And close. You can really feel tension here. Some people can hear cracking when they do this. Let's do this for one minute. Open and close as much as you can. The more you stretch, the more opening you will have. You might feel silly, but it feels really good when you do it. Stretching your face, stretching your jaw. Thirty more seconds. Ten. 
10, 9, 8, 7, 6, stretch, 3, 2, 1, stop, keep tapping your lower abdomen, close your eyes, and feel your body without shaking your head side to side. Just tap your lower belly, feel your lower belly, and feel your body, especially your head area. Can you feel more opening around your head as a result of shaking and stretching and breathing, circulating energy there? If you're sensitive to energy, you can feel a lot of opening primarily in your ear region as you did the jaw opening exercise. Does your head feel lighter? Can you feel your head a little bit cooler than before? Now open your eyes, stop. Bring your left hand to your head, right hand to your bare lower belly one more time, and feel the heat in your head and lower belly. Which one is hotter now? If your belly is noticeably warmer now, you did a really good job, that means your energy went down very fast due to your good focus. If you still feel like your head is hotter, notice if your head is less hot than before. So cooler than before, that's the important part that you see improvement and progression. Is your head cooler than before when you first started? You did a great job. So depending on how much heat you are holding in your head, it's gonna take more than 10 minutes to cool your brain and bring the energy down. So in that case, I recommend doing this every single day or maybe doing each part of this routine a little bit longer so that you can release the heat even more because sometimes you might need a lot of time to release all the heat that's causing the ringing in your ears. You did a great job. The really important one is the opening the pathways to bring circulation to your ears. You'll find that as you do this more, your face will look brighter too. You will feel much cooler in your head, much less brain fog, less heaviness, less headache, all of that due to better circulation. To experience a full one hour brain education based class, please visit a local body and brain yoga studio near you.